Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Kate and happy freaking Monday. We just dropped Kiwi off at the groomers and today is gonna be a very busy day. My best friend Jarlene's coming over to do my nails and I'm actually heading over to her house now because she needs to go to a special like beauty nail store to get a new something for her kit. So I'm on my way and out of her house to pick her up. We're gonna go to the store. I'm gonna drop her back off at her house. Then we're gonna go to the apartment and she's gonna do my nails there. But in the meantime, we have about three hours till we have to pick up Kiwi. I need to start Kiwi's laundry. Every time that we take her to the groomers, I start by, she has three beds in the apartment one in each room she has to always be near us so i need to make sure she's comfy but she has her bed in her cage with a blanket she has her bed in the stream room or my office with a blanket and she has her bed in the bedroom with a blanket so i need to start doing laundry on those and i like to wash her toys that she's like heavily played with because they are like full of slobber and disgusting we need a stream today <laughs> with what time i don't know <laughs> but It'll probably be a short stream, a later stream. I want to start editing my last vlog and I need to get a little Instagram reel up today. So there's a lot of things to do on the list of things to do. Wow, that was awkward. <laughs> but let's get our day started. Oh, I probably should say this. Welcome to a week in my life. Thank you. You can get a drink? Yeah. Thank you. You too. <gasps> We're off. No, you put a bunty. I did. Yeah. Fuck. It's okay. I'm not gonna finish this. Oh. It's only a 50 cent difference. Did you know that? That's it? Yeah. I'm with Jolene. She'll be in the vlog in a little bit. <laughs> but we just got some Starbucks. We're on our way to the nail store. That's what it is, right? Nail supply. Yes. The nail supply store. And I've shown you guys my order before, but I will give it to you guys again. I get a Benti ice brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with cinnamon cold foam three pumps brown sugar three pumps cinnamon dulce you can thank me later it's so freaking good try it and i also got the chicken and maple sandwich thing i don't know but it's new and it's fire and if you haven't tried it yet you're missing out we're at the nail place and um let me see we're getting a cuticle pusher well not i say we but jarlene's getting it and then we're getting this color. Look at how pretty. It's called Put It In Neutral. Mm -hmm. It's right up my alley of nudes. <laughs> and then we're also going to get some cuticle cutters. And call it there, maybe? Yeah, because we're broke. Yeah, because we broke. <laughs> so apparently there's this place here in South Florida. I think this is what, Doral? Doral. It's called First Watch. Jarlene says it's absolutely phenomenal. She says I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> never trying it that it's healthy breakfast food so one day we're definitely gonna have to try it but if you had to give it a one out of ten rating what would you say oh girl i would give it an eight because i don't believe in tens really you don't believe in tens no because there's every, no way every time you go somewhere one day it's a ten another day it could be a seven another day it could be a six so i'm gonna say oh. it's a solid eight a solid eight okay we'll take it but well, we have to come and try. We're doing a pit stop, by the way. We're going to Ross, and is there a TJ Maxx here? No, but I think we can get away. Oh, there's a Marshalls. A Marshalls is just like a TJ Maxx to me. And there's a Home Goods. And a Home Goods. Okay, so we're about to do a pit stop and go shopping. Don't tell Diego. We have time to pick up Kiwi, so we're okay. That's the only thing that matters. We're okay. We're going shopping. So this was a fail because I don't think they have the Nike socks. We're gonna go check the guy side. See if there's any there, but so far, no luck. Okay, so this one's Diego's size. <gasps> we found it. Victory! We found at least the black socks. We still need white ones. Diego has zero socks. He has ripped holes through all of them and I'm ready to throw them out, but we can't until he has more. So Ross sells the Nike socks that we wear. And now we're gonna go into Marshalls. I haven't been in a Marshalls and like actually looked in probably a few years, but why did they step up their game so much? Because they have, they have a lot of stuff and like good brand stuff too. How did I not know this? Like their makeup section and look how organized. 
Yo, W for Marshalls? Excuse me? Marshalls? Was it Marshalls that we went second? Yeah. Or? Marshalls. Yeah, Marshalls was a bust. So we're currently in Home Goods and yeah, we didn't find the socks, the white socks. Well, they had a bunch, just not the kind that we have. So we're gonna take a look into Home Goods. I really like this place. It has like everything you need Marshalls, Ross, Home Goods, all in the same building. And it's amazing. That is so cute. <gasps> look at these. Those are adorable. That's cute. It's okay. Once you have your house. Look at how cute these little glasses are. If you guys know, Disney Dreamlight Valley is one of my favorite games. I mean, I just, I love Disney in general. That's adorable. Does it match my house? Absolutely not. But if it did match my house, would I get it? Yes. <laughs> Look who we finally have. We picked up the Miss Mayams from Petco. She just got a bath. They did her nails, cleaned her teeth, her ears, the whole nine yards. Thank God, because she was stinky. And now she smells amazing. We are back at the apartment and we're here doing my nails. Jarlene has like this whole cool setup. I'm gonna show you guys quick, but she has like this really cool light that she recently got. And it's like so professional. <laughs> Look at this. It like goes all the way across. Isn't that cool? But I'll show you guys the before now. And I'll show you the after. So this is the before. It's been what, a month, I think? A month. Yeah, they're definitely grown out. We did the almond shape, but since I'm a gamer, I can't click my keys that I need when they get too long. So we gotta chop them halfway through. Um, but it's like a little pretty chrome new color. Kiwi's also not leaving my side. Jarlene just left. I'm so excited. Look at how cute they came out. They are a nude with a gold glitter. I'm obsessed with the shape and everything about it. We're actually going to, by we, I mean, me and Diego are actually going to sit down and watch season three, episode nine of Game of Thrones, which if you don't know, is The Red Wedding. And I've obviously never seen it. Diego has seen it and he told me I couldn't watch it without him and he needs to basically see my reaction. So we're gonna watch it. I will give you guys what I think at the end of the episode. And after that, we'll probably just be getting ready for bed and hopping in bed because I got a stream tomorrow. He got to work and we got to get a workout in. Let's see what this whole red wedding's about. Absolutely not. They cannot get away with this. No, <laughs> I refuse to believe. I we, we just finished the red wedding episode. I refuse to believe that that was an actual episode in the show and we can just erase it from history because that was the most ridiculous thing I have ever witnessed and experienced in my life. I never thought they could you play a fever dream in a TV episode. I am so insanely upset. I am so, so angry right now. I have no words. I don't know if I can sleep tonight. It is 9.50 PM. I am like, I'm so upset. I cannot believe that that just happened. That's so upsetting. I told her she wasn't ready. I was not ready. <laughs> I literally yesterday or the day before when we were watching, I was telling Diego how much I loved that character. I'm trying not to give spoilers or anything. Oh yeah. I loved that character so much. I loved the storyline. For what? For what? Season four, episode two, you will be happy. Good morning guys. It is 7.51. I am exhausted. I'm so tired. Diego just left for work. And I'm gonna get ready for my workout. I should theoretically be going live today at 12. Because I didn't stream yesterday, so I told him I would go live at 12 and do a longer stream. But at the same time, I have a few videos that I want to start editing. So I'm gonna try to get my workout in as fast as I can and see if I can maybe edit a little bit before 12. It is the morning! Let's get ready to work out. I almost had to go to the gym, but we don't go to the gym. We just work out here in the living room. So it's upper body day. So that's what we're going to do. Sometime this week or eventually, I would like to deep clean the bedroom and the stream room because they are so dusty. We have deep cleaned the bathrooms and like the living area, dining area, kitchen week after week, but 
we only like clean the bedroom and the dining and the not dining room the stream room once a month kind of but i think it's been longer than that and they are they just need a little like tlc little touch up refresh so eventually sometime this week i have to do that not today because i do want to go live early but sometime this week remind me <laughs> We're ready for the workout. Bed is made. Um, I have my OOTD on. It is from White Fox X Sarah's Day collab. I love it. We got our weights. We got Game of Thrones on the TV. I had to close the blinds halfway so I can actually see the TV. But uh, I fed Kiwi breakfast. She did not eat. Instead, she threw up three times. So she is just kind of hanging out on her bed. She's relaxing. You okay, Mama? You feel better? Workout's done. I just grabbed breakfast. I'm just gonna eat a bowl of cereal. I had a lot of protein with my coffee because of the collagen powder. So now we're just having some protein cereal and that should be roughly 40-ish grams of protein for breakfast. We have two protein cereals. We have the Premier Protein one. That's less calories and a tiny bit less protein, but still, more than the one to ten ratio if you know what i'm talking about this one is the catalina crunch cinnamon toast but it kind of tastes like cardboard like it literally tastes like nothing it smells really good but doesn't taste like much so i add in like a dash of cinnamon and about a teaspoon of brown sugar and it tastes like a healthy version of cinnamon toast crunch it is so good and i love it so much i do weigh out how much cereal i use how much milk there is, all that stuff. But I'm gonna eat this and finish the final episode of season three of Game of Thrones. And it is 10.37. So after this, I'm probably just gonna edit for about an hour on my laptop. And I gotta go live at noon. So I hope I have enough time to get a good amount of editing done, but we'll see. I am actually streaming right now, but I forgot to mention to you guys yesterday that last night whenever we were doing my nails, we I started making sourdough so uh, it's about to go into the oven but i have the oven preheating to 500 and let me turn the light on this is what we got so we have like some nice little dough and they're both going to go in the oven it's preheating to 500 now so i have like an alarm on my phone and whenever that rings they got to go in so the dutch ovens are already in the oven they're heating up and hopefully it'll all go well and be relatively fast but i'm so excited for fresh bread you guys have no idea bread is in the oven we're gonna go walk kiwi we're taking a little break from stream uh, i put a little like game on for them so they're playing that but bread is in the oven we got our cast irons in there we have to lower it to 450 25 minutes in 25 minutes we take the top off another 15 and then our bread should be done and i'm so excited for fresh bread and butter and toast oh it's gonna be amazing bread is done oh my god she looks so freaking good i can't look at that that's some nice looking bread i think they came out pretty good they rose a decent amount i mean they're not as tall as i would like but hey i'm just excited for fresh bread it's been too long so we are what six hours yeah six hours 15 minutes into stream still playing and i just it's been two hours since i took the bread out of the oven maybe even longer so i cut it because you have to wait two hours and i just put butter and she looks so good good morning guys i am upset and i'm sure you can see on my face why i'm upset i don't know what's going on but i woke up and my eyes are still swollen and this one now has like a huge red spot this one started flaring up and i instantly took care of it and i haven't seen that spot since but yeah this eye swollen and then this one is just red and itchy i don't know what to do i don't know what to do because i want to wear makeup and i can't wear makeup and i have aquaphor on it 24 7. i did the most minimal skincare last night i did 
a toner because my skin is not doing okay. I did a salicylic acid and my moisturizer that I've been putting on just about every single day because my skin needs the moisturizer and I don't know what happened, but I made sure to stay far away from my eyes when applying all my products. It still did this. We decided not to work out today, but I still want to move my body because I have honestly grown a love for just getting up and getting my body moving every single day. So instead, we are cleaning. <laughs> so random, but we always deep clean the living room and dining room area. Rosie is doing her thing and she's cleaning the floors right now. But we haven't deep cleaned the master or the stream room in a long time. So I just went through and dusted and wiped down everything with multi-surface cleaner. And it feels so good and so clean in here. This little tray with all of our perfumes and colognes and stuff was so dusty and dirty. Diego's computer was, it wasn't black anymore. It was like gray and it just looks so much better it's so much cleaner kiwis hanging out right mom i love you here you go girl. we're just cleaning and now i am on to the stream room i'm currently working on the shelf here and we have a bunch of these R2-D2s and BB-8s and stuff from and lightsabers from Disney World and I just dusted them all I'm gonna try to take everything off of the shelves and just wipe down the shelves and put everything back But I do want to start decluttering this room I know Diego says that we should just pick one room a weekend, but I hate waiting I am not patient when I want to get something done and it pops in my mind I need to get it done ASAP this closet is falling apart and it needs help and i just want to start it but i need to get my video edited and uploaded so we'll see how fast i can clean this how fast i can get my video done and if i have any time i'll start going through these drawers of my desk stream room is fully clean and i am kind of starting on the closet so i want to show you guys before it's bad don't judge i already started taking a few things out but it is falling apart. This is like the only storage in the entire apartment we have and the very back of the master closet. So there is just stuff piled all the way in there. So much of this I just don't use. Like my onesies. I haven't used these in years. I got rid of more than half of them and I still have these. I don't use them. They can go away. The cow head. It's iconic. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I have to decide on that one. That one's hard to get rid of. But we don't use it. Like a lot of this stuff we don't use. And I can't even use my cricket because there's so many ducks there's so many ducks. These are the ducks for June coming up. These were Valentine's that are used, not used. And then we have a bag back here with the Halloween ones. We have a bag with Christmas ones. There's just ducks everywhere. We need to consolidate. I need to open my PO box and see who wants me to send them their ducks if they have more than five. But there is a lot of stuff in this closet. This is the before. Let's see what we can do. I'm probably going to go through these drawers. A lot of this stuff I can get rid of as well and move some of like the streaming stuff in here. I am live, but I wanted to show you guys. The room looks and feels so good. Just grabbed an energy drink and a little ice pad because my eyes are on fire. But I wanted to show you guys the closet. Look at how good she looks. She is so clean. We have our ducks for summer, but don't tell stream. And then... She's just so clean. I can actually get to my Cricut now. We went through all these drawers, all these drawers, all of those drawers, and all of these drawers. We got rid of a whole trash bag and a whole bag of donations. So I'm feeling so good and so clear-minded. We also deep cleaned this room, so it's dusted, multi-surface cleaned everywhere. And I'm just excited to stream and relax and just be in peace. Good morning guys. Happy Thursday. It is 11:30 a.m. I've been awake for quite a few hours just working on some back end stuff and I woke up this morning and both of my eyes are swollen. And this one is extremely swollen. This one is slightly swollen only on the outside and they are so itchy. So I placed a Target pickup order because the eye doctor mentioned that she uses CeraVe and that that would be really good in helping 
the eczema, dermatitis, whatever this is in my eyes. So I just placed a Target pickup order and it is ready for pickup. So my vlog is currently exporting. So while it's exporting, because it's going to take another like 20 minutes, I'm just going to be sitting here anyways. So I'm going to go with Kiwi, by the way. She's sleeping here next to me. I love you. We're going to go pasear. Okay. Okay. She wants all the pets. We're going to go pasear and we're going to go to Target. It's just going to be a pickup order. I'm very embarrassed about my eye, so I don't want to get down at Target. I just want to do a quick pickup and come right back home. I don't know if I'm going to cancel stream today. I don't know if I'm going to wear glasses on stream. Like, not these glasses. Sunglasses. I just, I genuinely feel so ugly on camera, even vlogging. I feel so ugly. I feel like I look like a monster because my eyes just are not healing and they just are so incredibly thick and swollen and red and I already have dark circles so it's dark and red and it's just like, it's not a good look. Thank, Thank you. You, you too. Thank you. <gasps> just picked up the target order i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i got because i'm if you can't tell trying to not let anybody see my eyes i am so embarrassed i can't even begin to explain kiwi's just she wants to look out the window so that's fine but i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i got and make sure none of it is open because sometimes this stuff comes open first thing is this cerave is it cerave or cerave it's the hydrating facial cleanser for normal to dry skin. I have oily skin, but my eyes are dry. So right now, I don't care about what, if my the rest of my face is an oil slick, fine by me. As long as my eyes are okay, that is what matters. I also picked up this AM facial moisturizing lotion with 30 SPF because I haven't been able to wear anything on my skin and my skin is breaking out and it is just not doing okay. I also got this CeraVe Healing Ointment, protects and soothes dry, cracked, and chafed skin. I read online that this is good for eczema. It is accepted by the Eczema Foundation or whatever eczema people. Apparently this is good. And then my best friend's baby, Jarlene's baby, got eczema on her face, but she thought it was a rash. So she was putting rash ointment on it and it wasn't getting any better. So she ended up getting this Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy Cream and overnight her baby's rash went away and it is sealed perfect but this is what it looks like i got the little one ounce they also have i think like a three ounce big bottle but i'm just it's just for my eyes so i'm hoping this will be good it is a nighttime balm so i'm gonna do this at night and then i'm gonna do this one during the daytime so when we get home we're gonna wash our face with a new face wash and put this on and hope that my eyes feel better and look better and maybe the swelling goes down i don't i honestly don't know what to do anymore but that's what we got from target so let's go back home my video is going live at 2 it is currently 1 12 p.m i have all of my posts ready for the new vlog so instagram it's literally all i have to do is click post discord all i have to do is copy paste and click post i sent it in the mod chat so i just need to post it in like the announcements channel i have to eat lunch eventually <laughs> i'm not i'm really not hungry i had breakfast maybe an hour ago i basically did my go-to breakfast from the last vlog with no tortilla and instead of tortilla i did two pieces of sourdough toast because our sourdough is fresh and we need to eat it asap because that is when it is best when it is like a few days out of the oven oh can't get enough i am live already but i brought out my blender i have to be in ca on camera on like less than five minutes and i'm gonna blend this low low fat cottage cheese um because i hate cottage cheese but i would like to get a little bit more protein in with my snacks and stuff and i have some mini peppers that i would love to dip in this and it'll be good for mini cucumbers and all that stuff just to get some extra veggies in and it expires beginning June, so we have some time. So I'm gonna blend this up, and I guess I'll show you guys. I've heard that you can blend it and just put it all back right into the same container. So that's what we're gonna do and put it in the fridge. Also, I used the new creams on my eyes. They're feeling better, but obviously still swollen. They're still itchy, so I'm about to put some more cream on them after I do this really quick.
Tell me why this doesn't fit now. Okay, that's an issue. <laughs> okay. I do want to make some healthy cottage cheese cookies. So that is on my list of things to bake. Stream is done. It is 8.30 p.m. I'm about to eat dinner. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update that I did try the cottage cheese. I did two tablespoons of blended cottage cheese with two tablespoons of light ranch sauce. Thinking, because we don't have like the ranch powder. That's what I heard that you're supposed to put in it. But we don't have that. We have actual light ranch sauce. So I mixed equal parts of both. Some bites had a little hint of ranch. The rest of it tasted like nothing. And it kind of just gave me like a nasty taste in my mouth afterwards. So I'm not the biggest fan. I am going to try to make those protein chocolate chip cookies. Hopefully it comes out well this time. <laughs> I just, I don't want them to taste like nothing. I need to find a cookie dough flavored protein powder. I just don't know what brand to go with. But I'm going to watch some Game of Thrones. I asked Diego if I should work on some Instagram reels or the next vlog and or relax and he said relax so we're gonna watch some game of thrones i have about an hour and a half to two ish hours to watch what two to three episodes ish two and a half episodes and i'm excited i'm excited to see where the show goes bubs is currently gaming he is playing what are you playing elder scrolls online elder scrolls online so he's currently i think in a queue for a dungeon and i don't really know if, do a lot of people still play that game yeah really yeah, it's um right now I think it's like gaining some more popularity than before because um you know that's how those games go they Coming go through way. like up and down up yeah. and down. But I'm gonna relax for the rest of the night. I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for guys for joining me in a week in my life. I know we're ending it on Thursday, but my idea is Monday to Thursday, week in my life, and then. So sorry. I'm so sorry. What the heck? <laughs> And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday as weekends in my life. So I'm going to start up a new vlog tomorrow and bring you guys throughout my weekend in my life. Diego says we're going to go on a date night tomorrow night. I don't know what we're going to do Saturday, but I don't think I'm streaming. I would love to go to the park and get a good exercise workout in. Hopefully my eye heals. This is the final update for today's vlog. I washed my face again after stream and put some more cream because it was kind of seeping into my eyes and burning them. And I mean, it doesn't look any better, but the swelling has gone down quite a bit. So... Once again, thank you guys so much for joining. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah!